NBC10 is digging deeper tonight. Accusations of extreme hazing at Johnson and Wales University. A student says he was tortured while pledging a fraternity. Tonight, we are looking into these allegations and a lawsuit the student has filed against the fraternity. They are disturbing, and the night team's Matt Reed is live tonight from campus. Matt? Patrice Dan, the plaintiff in this lawsuit, was beaten so bad he said he couldn't sit or stand and that the men he called his brothers prevented him from going to the hospital. These 16 pages describe in graphic detail what Johnson & Wales student Terrence Bennett says happened to him this past fall while pledging the Tau Kappa Epsilon fraternity, Teak. Bennett said older brothers urinated on him, had cigarettes put out on his skin, and was forced to eat sticks of butter until he vomited and then had his own vomit poured on him. Bennett said the hazing went on for weeks, and on November 1st, when he tried to get medical help, his big brother in the fraternity told him not to because people would ask questions. But a day later, Bennett did end up in the hospital and stayed there for almost a month. As soon as we heard it and started looking into it, we imposed an interim suspension on the fraternity. Lisa Pelosi, the executive director of communications and media relations for Johnson & Wales, says a day after suspending Teak, the school notified all students and faculty of the allegations. Weeks later, the fraternity was banned from campus, and its members could face further discipline from the university, along with a lawsuit. The actions that could be taken by the university up and through dismissal from the university depending on what we learn. Now we received a statement tonight from Teeks Nationals saying quote after receiving allegations of hazing we conducted an investigation into the Tau Mu chapter of TKE. At the conclusion of the investigation Tau Kappa Epsilon made the decision to close the chapter on February 2nd 2015. The group is no longer recognized as an active chapter of Tau Kappa Epsilon and is not allowed to represent, represent themselves as a student organization on campus. Also, there were tw over a dozen plaintiffs named in the lawsuit, including one fraternity brother from Warwick. Reporting site in Providence, Matt Reed, NBC 10 News, The Night Team.